Hello, creatives. My name is Stephen Reynolds. I'm the co-founder of Art Exchange Grand Rapids, and I'm going to be your guide through this fun pay by number project. Stay with me. So before we get too far into the pain by number projects, definitely want to give a shout out to ATI, Above the Influence, and the Kent County Prevention Coalition for connecting with Art Exchange and inviting us to participate in this really cool pay by number project. Uh, we are honored and thrilled to be here. Also, want to give a shout out to all of you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for participating. And really hope that you enjoy this creative process and the paint by number kit. Okay, enough talk, let's get creative. Let's first begin by going over the materials and the tools that you're gonna to need to complete your paint by number project. Included in your kit, of course, is your paint by number canvas with the image and the ATI logo on it. You should also have your paint pods and you should also have your paint brush. All of these items are included in your kit along with the paint by number instructions. Items that you're gonna need that are not included in your kit includes paper towels and a cup of water. Okay, creatives. So now that you have all of your tools and materials ready to go, I just wanna pause and provide a little bit of context about what we're doing. What is a paint by number? So the paint by number is this image that's been transposed onto a canvas or a board with light markings on it that indicates an area to paint. So within that area to paint, it's divided up into different numbers and each number corresponds to a color. And when you add the color to the numbers, you create a full complete image. Interestingly, the paint by number design or idea was created right here in the state of Michigan. That's right, it was created in Detroit in 1950. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about where to start our painting. There are many different places to begin your painting. You can start from the top and then work your way to the bottom. You can start with the dark colors first and then move into the light colors. Um, you can just start with the numbers. You can start from one and work your way all the way up through 12. You can start in the top right corner or in the middle. Uh, it's really up to you uh, where you'd like to start. Uh, the possibilities are endless. For this demonstration, I'm going to start with the detail portion of the paint by numbers. So if you look in here, there's a lot of detail, uh, small areas to paint in uh, the paint by number kit. So that's where I'm going to start. And I'll save the larger areas for last. The type of brush that we're using is called a pointed round brush. So you can see that the tip is pointed and that it also has a rounded uh, kind of shape to it. So a pointed round brush is fine for these types of projects and they're great for getting into small areas and painting those details. Now, feel free to use a different kind of brush. Uh, in fact, if you have uh, what is known as a flat brush, that can help you with some of the larger areas and get those done a little bit quicker, uh, like the sky, the ground, uh, this building here, uh, this uh, part of the calder. So if you have another brush and you wanna use it, that's fine, but this pointed round brush should be sufficient uh, for this image. And that's the one we're gonna start with. So I'm gonna start by wetting my brush a little bit, putting in a little bit of water, and then drying it with my paper towel, All right? So again, just lay on your paper towel, twirl it around a little bit and take off the excess water. It doesn't have to be completely dry. You just wanna take off the excess water. And I am going to go ahead and start with the details in the calder. So to take a look at your paint pods, I'm gonna start with the number three. So open up your paint pod. Gonna be careful opening it so you don't spill paint everywhere. 
And then there is your color number three, which is going to be your dark red. So there's your color number three, which is going to be your red. So you dip your paintbrush. Um, don't be uh, afraid to get as much paint on the paintbrush as you want. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Um, that's part of the process. And actually that's part of the fun for being creative and uh, engaging in the artwork. So what you wanna do is kind of like coloring in the lines or painting in the lines. And you just add your paint uh, inside the lines to that shape. And that's it. If you don't stay exactly in the lines, again, it's just fine. So I'm gonna just go to three. There's one number three, there's another number three. With one of the things that I love about the pointed round brush is when you press hard on the brush, it gets wider. And when you have a light gentle touch to it, it gets smaller and pointier. Again, for those spots where you need to have some detail, get a little more paint, where you need to add a lot of detail to your painting, this is a great brush to use. It works with oils, works with acrylics, uh, and there are even some uh, pointed round brushes for watercolors as well. So there, and just that quick, we have two sections done. I'm gonna bring my paint in the canvas so you can see I'm gonna add a little bit more paint. And I'm gonna do this number three. So the method that I decided to use was to go in and to paint with the details, paint the details first. And then go to the bigger bits and pieces of the painting. And I don't know if you can see this or not on the video, but when I get close to the edge, because I want to stay inside of the numbers, at least I do. If you don't, don't. Again, it's part of the fun process of painting, right? Make this painting your own. In fact, you don't even have to use our, the color scheme that we've provided. You can use your own color scheme. But if you notice, when I get close to an edge, I pull up and use just the tip of the brush. And when I wanna do a big section, I push down a little bit harder. You see the difference in the line? Up here, my line is way thinner. Down here, my line gets wider. And I do the same thing here. And I push down when I get to the center because I have more space to use there. And you're going to continue using your three until you filled in all of the threes or you're ready to move on to a different color. Sometimes you might get bored with just using the same color. You might want a little bit of a variety. Feel free to switch it up whenever you're ready. When you do switch paints, uh, you definitely want to rinse off your paintbrush, and I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and paint this large area right here with the three and the red. Twist your brush a little bit to get all the paint off of the brush. So you use all the paint that's on the brush. Maybe a little bit more. Different techniques for different brush strokes that you can use. Um, you can use short, like um, really quick short strokes, like so, or you can use more elongated brushes, which is going to uh, create a smoother look to your painting. Whereas shorter brush strokes will give it a rougher look. Whereas the long strokes will give it a more smoother finish. So it's up to you on how you want to um, add the paint to your canvas and what technique, what brush stroke technique you like would like to use. To complete this entire image, and I've done this image several times now. It can take anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes to do the complete rendering. So not gonna 
do the complete painting with you, but I will show you a complete rendering by the end of the video. Or towards the end of the video. And our calder is just about finished. And if you need to uh, turn your canvas, flip your canvas different ways so that you can get a better angle on a particular uh, size of the shape, you can turn your canvas and flip your canvas and move your canvas around so that you can get the better angles. Okay. So there it is. I have successfully completed the three. Now, as you can see, you still have a ton of paint left. You have enough paint left to go over this uh, three or four, five coats. Uh, it just depends on how um, sat the saturation you want. Depends on if the markings are smooth enough for you. You have options to go back over it. So for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go over this completely, but I just wanna show you the difference um, with layering your, your paint. Now, the nice thing is that this is acrylic, so it's gonna dry super fast. It's one of the reasons why I love working with acrylic because it does dry fast and allows me to move through my painting a little bit quicker compared to like an oil. And of course, watercolors dry fast also. But one of the reasons why I love acrylic is for its dry time. It dries really fast. And I do want to encourage you between layers to let it dry. Because if the layers are not dry um, in between coats, then you run the risk of actually lifting some of the paint off of the canvas instead of adding paint onto the canvas. So if you're wondering, you know, why it's not getting any darker, because you're probably going to have to let it dry a little bit more before you add paint to that section again. So I'll just move on to a different number or a different color. I'm going to flip my canvas over so I can get these numbers a little bit better. Get to an area that I want to get to. And again, just enjoy the process. Put some music on, relax. Grab yourself a Coca-Cola or some water or some Kool-Aid, maybe a snack, and just sit down with your friends or by yourself and just create your own little space, your own little world. You kind of just forget about everything that's going on and just be in your creative place. One of the great things that I love about painting and doing art is that time will just pass you by. You forget about all the things that you got going on, all the different distractions. And it's kind of like therapy, it's cathartic. You don't even think about or worry about your problems. Again, there's enough paint here, guys. Don't be afraid to load up your brush. Now, now I'm ready to move on to a new color. This is the fun part also, is cleaning your brush. So this is what I said I was gonna to talk to you about cleaning your brush. To clean your brush, you simply just add it to your cup of water and watch this fun, cool water uh, change colors on me. And now I now have a, a light pink water. Maybe don't show up on my camera as well, but that's the fun part too. So again, it doesn't take much just to put it in a cup, throw it around a little bit, that's perfectly fine, that's good enough. Put your paper towel, take off the excess. You can roll it around. Here, if you want to, you can uh, squeeze it a little bit. But there, there it is, that's it. So now your paintbrush is clean, and now you can move on to the next color. So I am gonna do eight. So I'm gonna close my three. When you are done with your um, paint pot and whatever number you're working on, I wanna recommend that you close it out and shut it completely. That way it does not dry out. Your paint does not dry out and it'll last a little bit longer, a lot longer really. So now let's switch over to eight. Again, so I'm gonna work with you guys on the calder and get most of the calder done with you. 
and I'm gonna let you guys create on your own. But then you open up your pot, be careful when you open it so that your paint doesn't spill out everywhere. And now I have a nice clean brush ready to go for the next color. Again, don't be afraid to get paint, to load your paint up nice and heavy. Or if you prefer to load it on lightly, that's fine too. So again, think about what kind of music you wanna to listen to while you do your painting. Maybe you have your favorite TV show on in the background, maybe a sports game, or maybe nothing at all. Maybe you like to create in silence. I usually have some kind of music going on in the background, but I'm, I'm usually painting by myself. So that's something I've noticed is that I don't mind being alone, especially during my time of creativity. I think I focus a little bit better on the work that I'm doing. So not only am I the owner of Art Exchange Grand Rapids, I am also an artist. And if it's all right with you guys, I'd like to show you some of my work after we are done painting the eight. So one of the things you might be noticing is that the calder is painted in different colors, or at least it seems to be painted in different colors, right? We know the calder, when we go downtown to look at it, it's just red, right? The reason why this is showing up in different colors is because of the way the sunlight interacts with color. So when we took this photo uh, with our models here, right? Our incredible fun models. Um, this is Kimora, this is Charles, and this is Cornelius, uh, local Grand Rapids kids that uh, were racing to the Calder. But during that time of day, when we took this image, the sun was hitting the Calder in different ways. Um, and there was different parts that were shaded and there was different parts that were directly exposed to the sun. And so the, sh the sun will um, distort uh, the coloring. When it hits it and when it doesn't hits it or create shade. So even though technically this is all the same color, it looks different because of the way it's interacting with the sun. That's all. Again, load your brush, twist, stroke, load, twist, stroke. While I keep working on this and while you guys keep painting, I'm going to show you some of the artwork that I've created that's been on display here locally in Grand Rapids and different art exhibitions and different shows um, and even some that uh, maybe haven't been on display yet. I'd love to share that with you if you are interested in seeing some of the artwork. There we go. Now we're moving, right? Pull up to get through that, squeeze through that space. Did you see that? So I started with the detail from the middle out to create my image. And so the paint is not laid on too heavy, but it, and you, so you can still see the numbers through the paint. And again, that's perfectly fine. That's okay. If you want to hide those numbers, you just have to go over it with more layers. But if you do that, again, let it dry. Otherwise, you're just gonna pick the paint right back off of the canvas. Another strategy that you can use um, to kind of clean up your painting a little bit is to have all of your brush strokes go in the same direction. It just creates a much cleaner, neater look.
and it shows that you've taken your time with the image. So all of your brush strokes go in the same direction. When you um, use, when your paint brush strokes go in different direction, that creates a different kind of effect for your artwork. So you can paint in different directions. It just depends on what effect you're trying to create. And so there are the eights. And again, if I wanted to, I can add another layer. And you can see that the colors pop a little bit more with that next layer. So imagine if I added a third or fourth layer, how vivid and how bright and saturated those colors would be. So add as many layers as you like. You have plenty of paint here. to create your masterpiece. Oh, in case you're wondering, this runner up front, Charles, he won the race, which makes sense. He's the older brother, so. Actually, I got a chance to visit with them today. You know what? And they told me to tell you guys hello. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and I'm gonna let you guys keep painting while I show you some of the work that I've created. checking out some of the artwork. I love to share my work and hopefully you do too. After we're done creating this masterpiece, share it. Post it to your um, Instagram if you're online, if you have social media, share it with your family, show it to your parents um, and just have some conversations about the work that you've done. So let's get back to creating. So I am gonna speed up the video um, so that we can finish the painting and you can see what it looks like fully rendered. Again, I am 
honored uh, to have been with you today to kind of guide you through this pain by number process. I wish you guys the best. I wish you well. Peace.